Richard and I are in the beautiful Ozarks. We've been in Arkansas and uh, Missouri this weekend, and I'm doing a lot of fun stuff. We went to Branson and done some stuff there. It's their Harvest Cowboy Festival, and we always enjoy that time of year to um, go to Branson because it's it's all about the cowboy history, and that's something that we both um, love and we're interested in. And so we, of course, we went to the Chuck Wagon dinner and um, done some other stuff. But um, it is absolutely beautiful here. The colors are changing. It's definitely the fall season here. And um, yellows and oranges and reds. And I just love this time of year. This view is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it just literally take your breath away. The sky, everything about it. Like I said, the colors were absolutely beautiful and they changed a whole lot more from the three days that we were actually there. It, it's amazing what happens in just a few days. The colors were beginning to change and then by the time we were leaving, they had really um, started to put on some really pretty colors. And so I'm excited and can't wait for those colors to reach Oklahoma. clouds in the sky was just absolutely beautiful. God's handiwork. Silver Dollar City is always pretty and, and fun this time of year. Their October Cowboy Fest is always fun to go to. I always admire people that can make pottery. I just, I don't have the um, patience. I'm way too hyper to do something like that. But I, I do admire them. Beautiful, beautiful pottery. And so we enjoyed seeing Buck Taylor, who played newly in the TV series Gunsmoke, and then he was in the movie Tombstone with Sam Elliott and Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer. Back in the saddle again. We'll 
time in Branson other than my sinus is driving me crazy there's something going on out there and I come home and it's still going on and my eyes are puffy and swollen and anyway that's my life it seems like I have chronic sinusitis and so I deal with sinuses a lot but it's always good to take a break and get away from the hustle and bustle of life and just enjoy enjoy yourself and so we had a good time Come back to, I guess we had a windstorm here because things were blown all over the place and the animals were kind of skittish. And I thought, what happened, you know, while we were gone? And those that were took care of our um, fur babies told us that um, we had a significant um, windstorm on Saturday night. So also come back to a lot of um, uh, vegetables. As you can see, I got tons of squash over here that I've got to do something with. Looks like I'll be making probably squash pickles and maybe some squash relish or I'll just put them up in the freezer. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet with that, but um, I thought I would, since this is my favorite time of year and um, pumpkin bread is also something that I do like to eat this time of year. My mom, of course, makes the best. <laughs> and um, I wanted to go back to the video that she did this time last year. And um, she made her pumpkin bread. And I love that video of her making the bread. So I thought I would share that again with you guys. So hang with me and we'll get this show on the road. Okay, Mom, so what do we do? Okay, the first, you put all of your dry ingredients in. And this is three and one third cups of flour. All right. Three cups of sugar. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. One teaspoon of nutmeg, one and a half teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of baking uh, baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And that's all of your dry ingredients. You mix those together. blend the dry ingredients and then you will add all of your liquid and eggs all at one time. One can of pumpkin. Four eggs. Susie's fresh eggs. Mmm, that's to our chickens. One cup of oil. That is already looking good, guys. I love pumpkin bread. One cup of water. And that's all of your ingredients. Now we'll mix it well. So now that we got everything mixed, Mama is ready to pour into the pre-greased pie rolls. Love the peanuts. How do much it. do you put in there, Mama? I'm trying to divide it three ways. The batter. I'll have to go back and even up. I'm, you never get exactly like you want it. is it that everything tastes better when mama fixes it? I could make the same thing <laughs> and it would just it always taste better when mama fixes stuff. That's because mama makes it with love. Oh, that's true. <laughs> and mom always makes a mess, but that's what paper towels are for. Yes. 
I've learned that. <laughs> That's okay. Nobody is perfect. That looks so good. So while we're waiting on the pumpkin bread to bake, let me share with you one of the things that I admire most about my mother. So this is how my mama starts her morning. She gets up really, really, really early in the morning. She was raised on a dairy and then just farm life. Um, she's always gotten up at the crack of dawn around four and uh, got up with the chickens is what I would say. And she begins her day with Bible study. And um, that I am very proud of. I'm so blessed to have been adopted and put into a family that puts God first. The marble cave was a sight to see. It was a very deep cave. It was the um, oldest cave in um, Branson, Missouri. And they said they had more caves than any other state and so it was just very very interesting and and the water is coming from actually Table Rock Lake. So Richard and I decided to um, go on the uh, Branson Bell showboat and we had a very good time. They had a beautiful um, view of the lake and it was just just really, really, really peaceful and quiet in, um, in some parts of it. Some of it was loud, especially when you got to the show part, but they had a wonderful show and um, a wonderful dinner. We had a really good time. And so it looks like the pumpkin bread is ready. What is our next step, Mom? Wrap loosely so you don't squish it down on it, but you want the air sealed out and you let it completely cool inside the foil. And it makes three loaves. You can have one to eat, one to share, and one to freeze for a later date. So guys, if you enjoyed the video today, then please give me a thumbs up and put it in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, then um, please do so. Just click the button below and click the notification bell and it will notify you when I'm going to have another video coming out. And um, I will resume Monday Motivation on um, November the 7th at 7 o'clock a.m. Central Time. And then I will see you next Wednesday for another episode of Susie's Secret Recipes at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Happy trails. So remember that when you're going through trials and tribulations and things seem like everything's just turning upside down, nothing's going right, and you just don't know if you can hang on, guys, remember that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that God loves you and promises to always be there with you till the end. What a mighty God we serve.